focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. Try to keep your attention as continuous as possible, because otherwise there are going to be gaps. And in the gaps, interesting things happening are happening, but you don't notice them. Your attention is off someplace else. This is our problem. We see things only in bits and snatches. We don't really look at anything continuously. That's why we have so much ignorance. We act on our understanding of this must be that way and that must be this way. It's kind of like connect the dots. A little dot here, a little dot there, and then you draw a line, but who knows where the lines are connecting. It could be a frog, it could be a plane, it could be a, a building. You can make anything out of the dots. There was a novice one time in Thailand who, if you put three dots on a, on a piece of paper, he would then draw this one long, continuous line and then would connect the dots and also create a par portrait of you. No matter where on the paper you put the three dots, you could manage to connect them in. And this is the way our knowledge is. We take little dots and can make anything out of them. So if you really want to understand what's going on, and particularly you want to understand what's going on in your own mind, you've got to watch right here in the present moment continuously. Because the mind is what's shaping your, your life. And if it's shaping it out of ignorance, then the shaping is going to be unskillful. You're going to suffer. The people around you are going to suffer as well. So you want to learn how to watch your mind continuously. You don't make excuses. Well, well, now's the time to do this, now's the time to do that. Uh, anything other than paying attention to what's going on in the mind. Because if you do that, then all kinds of unskillful motivations can come sneaking in. But if you're constantly aware of the mind, then no matter what else you're doing, you can say, okay, here's something unskillful, here's some greed, here's some anger, here's some delusion. These things defile the mind. In other words, they make it dark and they make it suffer. If you can see that, then they don't have that much influence anymore, and then you can turn the brightness of your attention on them and then they'll go away. At least they'll go away for a while. And the more attentive you are to them, the more you understand them, the more you can uproot them so they don't come back and bother you anymore. But this means that you have to learn how to watch things continuously. So start with the breath. Get practice with staying with the breath continuously. You'll find the breath gets a lot more comfortable as a result. The mind has a better place to settle down right here, right now. So if you can make this continuous, it's like a fence all the way around your house. If there are gaps in the fence, then anybody can sneak in, anybody can sneak out. But if the fence is totally around the house, there are no gaps in the fence, Okay, then, you, then you're more in control. Who comes in, who goes out? Because you're constantly, because you're constantly watchful. It may sound like a lot of work, but then it's a lot less work than having to clean up after all the messes you make when you're acting out of ignorance. The problems are a lot easier to solve at the very beginning than when they come out and they scatter all their results all around you. So try to make sure you've got this place under control and everything else is going to be in good shape. And you do that by being continuously aware right here at the mind, so you know what the mind is doing. 